Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my first episode of, you know, Photoshop tips or maybe Lightroom as well. That's the two major programs that I work on. Now, what I'm going to talk today is how and simply I can blend two pictures like so, where I want to add some clouds on it. And I have a cloud over here. So how easily I can do that. Now, the technique which is done is that we have to have our image, uh, yeah, the, the, um, the sky going to be blown out. It has to be white. Whatever is white can, uh, you know, blend together with another image if we are using the uh, blending modes to a multiply. So how can we do that? Now, first thing, I want to have, you know, the sky a little bit more white so I can just simply go to... Uh, image and then adjustments and I will go to levels that way I'm just gonna increase you know the white thing just a little bit ever so slightly it's like like so so now I have you know the, the 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 sky you know so bright and that will help me to blend this image to the first image now I'm gonna take that image I'm gonna press V to have the move and space to get the hand I'm just gonna grab it Oh, sorry, not the hand. I'm sorry. Just grab it like that. Okay, and I'm going to drop it. It's going to tell me that the dimension is different. I say yes, no problem. Because I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to change the size of it right now to suit this image. Okay, and that's my image now. I'm just going to take it. I'm going to press Command T for trans transform or the, the Control T in, in PC. Okay, just gonna increase it to cover all the white area in that image. Okay, I'm done now. Okay, that's my image, been transformed. And now, as simple as just going to the multiply, once I click on that, voila. Now I have my image blended to the sky. But definitely, I have in my image some white things as well. Since they are white, they will appear. So all I have to do is make a mask and I'm going to mask those areas. All I have to do is click on the mask. I'm clicking on the image of the sky where the sky is and I'm going to click on the mask. So once I click it, I will have a white mask. Since it is a white mask, I will be able to see everything as it is. Now what I have to do, I will grab the brush tool, which is that one. That's the brush tool. And I'm going to paint on the areas I want to hide. I want to hide all the areas in which is, you know, covering the um, uh, pillar and, and the dome. So I will change the, the color from white by pressing X. It will become, you know, I can swap between them. I'm just pressing X now. So now I have the black. I'll increase my brush by pressing the, uh, you know, bracket. Either the, uh, both brackets, one will be small, smaller and bigger. So I'm just going to draw now with black see once i draw in black and by the way don't immediately go to opacity of your brush to 100 make sure that your brush is hardness is zero and the size depending on the size that you want and the most important thing that the opacity never start with 100 what will happen you will have a sudden changes and you can see the the change very uh, you know in an odd way so now i'll start drawing on the areas i want to hide like so okay and i'm just hiding the places that i, w I don't want to see the previous image from okay i can always go down and you know uh, reduce the size of the brush just to reach to some areas like so Okay, uh, we can do it, of course, much better, but because of time, uh, just then we're going to do it fast. So you, at least you just have an idea. The normal way that you can just put two images together and then start painting, uh, you can see now I'm, I'm just going outside. I'm doing this, you know, by purpose because I want to show you something. Now I have some areas which are really, you know, not looking that much good, but I'll show you something very cool, which is the good thing about the, you know, uh, masks and now the areas which are like outside just click X again see now it's became white now I can just simply go back and clean the areas that doesn't look that nice like so okay now I'm just cleaning this area a little bit 
you can just always zoom in when you look I'm just gonna zoom in by 100% by pressing command and one okay or control and one and by pressing the space I'll get the hand and I can go you know with my image up now I can have a better view where even if I put my brush smaller okay look at, at how small it is if I press the command and zero to go back to my original size see how how small it is okay so when I have it like 100% it will be a little bit bigger that's mean I'm reaching to some areas which are really close and now I can just perfect my work because the halos definitely they will know that you've been doing some Photoshop and doesn't look nice so that's why you have to be sure that there are no kind of halos even sometimes if you go a little bit inside there is no problem it will look good okay so ladies and gentlemen that's how you can do the blending of two images especially when you have a white colors the white colors with using the multiply blending mode directly you will get the blending in a very nice way so that's how we can utilize that okay i'm just you know working on that and i am done thank you ladies and gentlemen by the way my name is ashraf jandali